Alright, I'm really bored right now, so I'm gonna like make a tutorial for you about milling. And I hope this really understands it. And sorry if you guys go counterclockwise because I go clockwise because I don't find a lot of tutorials out there for clockwise. But other than that, pay attention and it, it, it takes some time, but around two months or so till you go down. Maybe like four years just to like, no, I mean, sorry, my bad about six months just to get it all clean. But practice, practice, practice. It takes patience to do all this. Okay. I'm gonna start with the, uh, all right. You wanna start off like with this position right here. This is for balance. This is, use it as a forecum for, through, your, through your body, right into your stomach. So it should be like this, okay? Not that hard. If you're if you're left, if you're left-handed, then you should be left hand, right as opposite hand used as balance. Should be like this if you're going counterclockwise. Then you gotta learn how to rotate. So in this position, you wanna start at a diagonal, it's starting over here, and then like this. Basically, use this to shift your weight, like here. If you're going counterclockwise, you go this way. <coughs> so, you're doing this, that's it. Easy, right? All right, this is the part where it gets a little bit confusing, but you have to, there's two things, the kicking up motion, and collapsing. Okay, let's start off with kicking motion. Everything in step order. Okay, so you're in this position, starting position, you rotate. You want to kick your dominant leg up, which means, in my case, right leg. So as you, you rotate, you kick up with this. Watch my leg. Here, here, up, up. Cool. Okay. Once you get that, you have to do your left leg has to go swing the opposite opposite way. Watch my legs carefully. Up and this there. See this? This moved the opposite direction of which my right leg would. Should be so like smooth. Nothing should hurt if you're if you're messing up your hip like I used to do. Then you have to get a higher higher kicking ground because this is the the flaw for hurting your hip, which is basically you did you're rotating, kick up, slam yourself in the ground. The reason for that is because you don't. Oh, another major thing I forgot. The reason why you're hurting your hip if you are is that you not enough clearance for your leg to swing around. So here's the solution to it. Try balancing on your head like this. See all this kicking ground I have? That one caused your hip to hurt. The higher you off the ground, the more kick you got. So it's, and then once you have, okay, I'll put you down. Rotate, kick up, swing, Swing and collapse. Collapsing is so easy, okay? For real. It's like, just go here and then. That's it. Here, here, left, left hand. So I showed you right handed and left handed. Just follow it. It shouldn't be hard. <clears throat> Besides, you're. When you're doing it, your body just naturally tells you to collapse or else you gotta break your arm, which isn't good. Alright, so you rotate, kick up in this position. Kick. Okay. You're in this position now. You collapse already. <coughs> Wide V shape. All times. Don't do windmills like this, okay? It's No, no. 
You gotta lose your you gotta lose your speed, and if you're wearing shorts, you gotta skin your skin your rug burn your skin. It's gonna hurt as hell. I trust me, I tried it a lot of times. It does not go well. <coughs> okay. Here, slowly from the beginning, rotate, kick up. You're in this position. Like kick her right leg to your like you know in the flare where you go a flare. You wanna kick right? In the flare, you do the same thing as a windmill. <laughs> oh, that was a low one, but here, I'm trying to kick up so that your leg can also swing across. <clears throat> but then, now you're asking, what do you, what do, you do after that? You kick, basically, it's telling your body just twist this way into this position. Okay. I'll show you counterclockwise, but it's gonna be a little bit sloppy because I'm not used to it. So you just position. shin. Left leg up. Sorry. Leg, right? So then your left leg kicks up. Then you just shift. Right here. Okay, sorry, that was really messy, but I hope you get the point. Kick with your dominant foot up so that this can slide under. And you just basically, you have your arms right here, into here, okay? I'll show you one last time. Half speed. Now, I'm going to do it at full speed so you can get an idea of how it looks like. Now you're asking, well, how do you do multiple windmills once you get down one windmill? Okay, it takes time to learn this, but it's, it's really easy. So when you restab, you're in this position. You kick up, like I said. You shift your weight all the way here. Right? So this means this, your legs are in the air. When they're in the air, you just re-kick. But you keep your legs high off the ground. If you're re-stabbing and it comes up like this, you're gonna fuck up your hip and you're also gonna put them straight into the ground. Lose all your momentum. Not good and doesn't look good either. <sighs> Alright. So now let me shoot. You go going here, right? You just want to go oh, oh. <clears throat> kick. And just kick again. I'm sure it hopes that works. Alright? And remember, keep your legs all straight. Straight V. Don't here are some bad examples. Okay, first off, starting off. I mean, if you're doing do this, that's a bad form. You know how to fix that, just basically Staying on your head position exercise, whatever. And this is why I see a lot of people. I mean, like, some of my friends even do it. So they go like this. And then. Sorry, they go like this and then they just jump up. And then, like this. You can't re really stab like this. Or you jump up really hard to re stab. Because. You can't catch your body in like a very high. Like, it's really hard unless you master at crickets or anything. But yeah, that should be some of the major flaws I see in some people. And I'm not even perfect either. I mean, my windmill's not that good either. I just know how to do it. Well, I'm gonna give you a quick, uh, easy, quick demonstration. Don't, like I said. I've been only working for about, for about two and a half months, so it's not as perfect as it looks like. And I don't even take lessons. So here it goes. It's a little bit slow, but any tips on making it faster? Alright, thank you.
So I hope you learned something in practice.